Hi, this is Ash from Easy Dairy. In today's video, we will be covering reporting, including adding or removing columns from a report, sorting reports, and printing options. Fortunately, we have designed Easy Dairy to make reporting as easy as possible. We will begin with the Manage Groups screen. This screen shows our management groups. For this example, let's select the In Milk group by clicking on it. When you select a group, the name and number of cows will be displayed in the group selection box at the top of the screen here. Firstly, let's look at sorting. Reports can be sorted by simply clicking on the column title at the top of the on-screen report. When I click on the date of birth column title, you will see the report order changes and we now have a small arrow pointing up next to DOB in the title. This indicates that the report is sorted by date of birth ascending. If I click on the date of birth column title again, the arrow will change direction and the report will be sorted descending. Let's say we wanted to display calving date and days in milk columns on the report. We do this by clicking on the set columns button near the top. This opens and displays a complete list of all columns available for the report. Looking down the list, we will locate the calving date and ticket. A new column has appeared on the on-screen report, displaying each cow's calving date. The days in milk column is also added by simply ticking it in the list. Now that these two columns have been added to the report, we can sort by either of them if we choose. Once our report is set up the way we want, we can print it using the print button. Clicking on the print button offers layout options depending on how many columns are selected and how wide they are. At the bottom of the list, you'll also see the export to Excel button. In this case, we are only offered portrait or landscape. I will select portrait and the print preview is displayed. At the top of this preview, we have many options on the toolbar. The most commonly used are the print button. The export to PDF button will save the report as a PDF file for email. The zoom buttons and the pages buttons, where we can see how many pages there are in the report and move through them. Most reports have a summary on the last page. In this case, we can see how many animals are listed and their average days in milk. Closing our print preview takes us back to the main screen. Let's turn off a few columns and see the effect it has on printing. First I will open the set columns again. Now I am going to untick name, date of birth, breed, status, sire ID, and dam ID. Now when I click on print, I have all layout options available. Selecting four column portrait displays the report and we can see that it now fits on less than two pages. Any screen that has a report in Easy Dairy has these options. For example, selecting the production report screen and clicking on the milk column will sort it from lowest producer to highest. We can also click the set columns button and add the number of clinical mastitis cases each cow has had this season. Pressing print and selecting landscape will give us a production report with our current options. Thanks for watching. We hope this has been another useful video and you've learned a few new tricks. To see other tips on using Easy Dairy, follow the video links on screen, visit our website, or subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave a comment below.